Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV. I got an RMA here right now. It's for a Caddx Vista, but this one is different. This one is not a UFL repair. This is actually, it does not display um, OSD uh, after a, a flight controller failure. So um, we're gonna check and see exactly what's going on here. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and just wire up. I guess we'll go ahead and do this real quickly. We'll wire this up uh, and let me see if I can find I'll use this flight controller. I know this flight controller is great for testing, but the S bus doesn't work on it. So it'll be good for what we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the wires ready. Uh, let me swap out the tips here though, because I do not like this fine tip for this kind of work. And I will take this ugly, fatter and abused tip that can handle the amount of abuse I'm gonna give it today. Let's see, let me organize this, get ready, and let's turn this on. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and solder some wiring uh, to this and see if we can get something to show OSD on here. And then if not, we are going to uh, handle the, uh, the repair by removing the diodes that may be damaged in this, okay? So bear with me a second. Let me get this all ready. All right, first things first. Let's get our wire cutters and our wire strippers and all the blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Okay, and God, I got too many wires on my desk. This stuff is going to be a hazard. I know it. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is crazy in here. Let me just try to arrange some stuff here so I don't knock over everything. Oh, we're getting to there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So my soldering wire here, so let me just go ahead and untangle that. Boom. Looks like we're cooking with grease now. Here we go. All right, so first things first, let's get some wires cut here. Uh, I've got a red wire. I've got an excess amount of this one, so I'm going to use this. Here's going to be my positive. Let me just untwist this a little bit. It sounds like we've got some yard work going on outside. Okay, so let's do that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll just probably leave this as a Vista testing uh, piece All right. for future reference. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll cut this one. Strip this here. Strip this side here. Okay. Let's tin it. And for this, we'll use our helping hands, why not? Perfect. So on this board here, we have an actual spot for a nine volt. Um, which is right there. This is a JHCMCU board, by the way, a GHF 420 AIO, one of our popular boards. And like I said, there's also a problem with this board. The S bus quit working, uh, so I'm, but everything else works. So for things like trying to find the OSD, this is, or testing out OSD, this is gonna be ideal. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and solder this on here. So let me get to the nine volt, which will be right here. Okay, and then let's get a ground wire. And I'll take that from here. Just, I, I should have measured them ahead of time, so let me just be smart about this and just start measuring these. Okay. Okay, there's ground, and then we'll take, uh, we're gonna take blue for TX. So let me get a blue wire, and we're going to take uh, yellow for RX. There we go. Take these here. That way we can get them all done at the same time. I think my wife is locked out. Hold on one second. I thought it. Hey, uh, I'm doing a live video, but I was like, I think Sorry. you're locked out. You good, baby? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna finish this video. No, let's do lunch. Yeah, that's fine. I'm finishing this uh, this uh, Vista repair. Okay. Thanks, babe. Okay, so back to where we were at. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and strip these down here. So do the yellow, the black, and the blue. Okay, and then let's tin them up. So I'm just gonna put the flux pen on all of all the ends here, and then and then twist them. And when you twist them, like I said, just hold the hold the strands and just twist the bottom. Gets it really really good and twist it up real well. Try to get all those strands in there. So there's one. All right. You can see like on this ground, the strands are kind of separated here. So we're just gonna lift up and then just twist it. There's two. We'll do the blue. There's three. All right. We've got our helping hands. One here. One here. Okay. Let's get this ready. Let me move this out of the way. Let me get some solder here. Okay, and let's just do the yellow wire last. There we go. Okay, right, put that away. And let's get to soldering to the back of the, well, let's, we could do this first actually. Oh Lord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and solder the ground. a little too long here so I want to do this safely so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that just like that start the ground on all right and then I'm gonna use uh, TX and RX2 which will be right here so this is TX2 and RX2 so to the TX we're gonna take the blue let's cut that back it's a little long put the blue on the TX There, and put the yellow on the RX. Let me just go ahead and change that. Okay, let me just inspect it and make sure it looks good. Everything does look clean and good right there. I'll put some silicone on later to hold it permanently. All right, now to the Vista itself. Let's go through. I want to clean up some of the pads that he's got on here. Okay. And one thing I also want to do is make sure that I've got the uh, pattern right. So bear with me a second. Uh, let me see. So we've got... Uh, black, red, blue, yellow. So let's just stick with that. That's the pattern I'm using. So let's just stick with that. Black, red, blue, yellow. So we will start from the right side here. I'm sorry, red, black, blue, yellow. So we'll do red. Let me just kind of shorten these just a tad. Okay, so we'll do red here for our voltage. Black. Here for our ground. Blue for our RX to TX and yellow for our TX to RX. Okay, that's our pattern there for wiring. That should be good. And so now all we need to do is just get some wire, get some power here. And so for that, I think what I'll do is I'll use a, uh, let me see if I have an XT30 laying around. I think I do. So let me open this up. And I do right there. So let me go ahead and get that ready. Again, we're gonna tin that, so let's go ahead and get that set. Okay. All right. Get the 
can sit in there and then twist it up a little bit. There we go. And now let's tin, let's tin these up, shall we? Okay, here we go. Now we're just going to solder this on. Okay, I just got to see here one thing before I continue. It's going to be the continuity. Perfect. Okay. So now I should be able to plug this in to my smoke stopper. It's right here. Let me give it the voltage we need. Let me give it about. 16 volts, I guess. And I should see it start up. So let's see what we get here. For the very, very, very quick, quick, just to test if we get a green light. I'm not worried about the antenna, but I will put one on here in just a second. There we go, green light, perfect. So I'm gonna turn this off, okay? And now I will grab an antenna. Something simple, like this one here, a little UFL antenna. Place it on here just for the time being. All I'm trying to do is see if we can get some OSD. Okay, now I'm gonna get the goggles. And here we go. I'm gonna plug the goggles in as well. We're gonna turn everything on now. And we will bind them together in just a second. We get all this excess trash and solder out of here so we don't short anything out in the process. Okay, let's see when the goggles are ready. Okay, it looks like we have a green light here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this into binding. And let me go ahead and take this. And we are binding. As of right now, we are set. Uh, Okay, and now let's go and check out the uh, beta flight to see how this board is set up. And let me make sure that our, okay, we are getting a firmware error. So let me go ahead and go to our settings here. Okay, custom OSD is on. I will do a firmware update anyway, but let's just see in beta flight what we have. Okay, so let me get into beta flight. Is it ready, babe? Sam, is it ready? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I, it's, it's, I think there's an error here, so I'm just gonna try check in beta flight, see what I got, and then, and then take a break. All right, so I'm gonna open beta flight here. And I will show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. As soon as my server screen comes up, there it is. Okay, so here we go. All right, so let's connect. And we know we're running on two, which is correct right there. That's fine. Let's go to OSD and let's see what we have. 
we have we should have some of this information showing up and it's not let me check no okay and we do not so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video now so we're gonna have lunch with my wife and uh, I will be right back here in a second to continue and we will do the uh, taking off the dial just to make sure this works okay so you guys Okay guys, so we're back now and I've taken that Vista and I've put it under the microscope. So I wanted to kind of show you guys what we're working with here. So here we go, right? So what you have here, what you see on your screen right here in very, 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 very tiny is going, let me see if I can turn the lighting up. There you go. Uh, so you have the three diodes here that everybody knows about. So you have the S bus diode, the TX diode and the RX diode. Okay. In that order from top to bottom. So what happens is when we see a voltage spike or let's just say somebody's uh, not using a good, um, uh, uh, God, what is it capacitor whatever something on the board screws up uh, you'll see these diodes they're, they're they're your last line of protection right so what you can do is you remove them if they're damaged the problem is is we're not replacing it all right and the reason we're not replacing is because it's these are really tiny and it would not be worth the money to try to risk damaging the board in my opinion to try to replace these but what you can do is you can remove them so what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna actually remove the first two so here it goes so I'm gonna flip on the uh, let me see. I think this might be too big of a tip, but I don't know yet. We're going to see. So we're going to heat this up and you've got to be very, very careful with this. Okay. I'll be, let me just stress this to you. Um, this is one of those things that could fail. Uh, I don't necessarily like doing this all the time because of the fact that it can fail. Uh, but we're going to give this a shot here and try our best to isolate the heat um, to this one area. And I'm going to use my, um, I need to get my old man goggles first of all. Uh, where the heck they are? Right here. Okay. And I'm going to use my ceramic tweezers and just make sure I can get these right in where I need to. All right. And we're going to try to make sure that we take this first one off without overheating the rest of the unit. Okay. So here goes. And the reason I use these ceramic ones. What makes them really awesome is that they clamp automatically. So all I gotta do is just gently lift and when this thing is ready to come off, it'll just pull on its own. So I'm not sitting there struggling with it. There we go, there's one. See how it came off? We didn't damage any of the other components. Lay that down. We're gonna let this cool just a minute because if there's anything else that's kind of tempting to, to move, we don't want it to move just yet, right? Now we're gonna grab the second one. Right there. I say that, but it's not. not grabbing the best possible way so let me turn this now I'm gonna turn it like this and try to grab it from the sides instead just like that I'm gonna heat this back up and even though you can't tell I'm lifting I am barely lifting but I'm lifting enough to where when this is ready to come off it will Almost.
try to get this back on camera for you. There we go. Okay. Now they're both off and nothing else has been moved, right? So if you want to inspect it now, we're going to take this down and zoom in really close. Let me focus. Everything else is intact. And we've got our two diodes now removed. Okay. You've got to be very careful because I'm going to tell you right now that everything else around this is ready to come off as well. So if you bump any of those by accident, you can consider them off, okay? And that would be the end of that. So just be very careful. Now, with that said, let it cool. Make sure to let it cool. Uh, and we're gonna let that cool down just a minute. And what I'm gonna do at the same time is I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put my uh, plate back on. Just like this, okay? And I'm going to put the screws back in. Oh, I see it's blurry, so let me just get this off. We don't need the microscope anymore. Sorry about that, guys. Let me go back to here. There you go. All right, so we're going to put the plate back on. It is very hot to touch, I promise you. Um, so be very careful. But again, let everything cool. Protect it. And like I said, be very careful because those components next to it, the S-Bus diode, which we don't need to remove right now, the S-Bus diode and all the other ones, they are hot to the point of being able to come off as well, and you do not want to accidentally bump them and have that happen. All right, now, what I want to make sure of is that I didn't melt the solder on the other end, and actually I did. That heat was hot enough to melt the solder, so we're going to have to now go back in and re-solder this area. That's how hot it gets. It's, 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 our solder will melt faster. The solder I use will melt faster than the factory uh, solder that holds things like the diodes and other chips on so we always have to go back and check And what you can see and I'll try to it's hot. So my god, it's burning my fingers trying to hold it But let me see if I can zoom in here just a little bit You can kind of see here where you've got this kind of hodgepodge of solder going on right there. So be very careful, okay, because um, You want to make sure to double check your work Especially when you're using the heat gun to melt because you, on top of the other stuff you're melting You're also melting your own work, okay? So let's go ahead and, as a matter of fact, we completely desoldered the um, RX, TX to RX. So uh, let's give it a second here. My soldering iron is, has heated up. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fix what I've done here. Uh, so let me get my tweezers and let's clean this up. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put the power back on, the, the, the positive. Okay, that's on. And let's make sure we get this cleaned up nice. Put the ground back on. The TX. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, everything looks decent. I'm gonna just do, because it mixed, I wanna do a continuity test just to be safe. So let me just do that real quickly and make sure all my solder is clean. Perfect. Everything's clean and ready to go. Okay, now what we can do is we can go ahead and plug this back in. Should be no surprise that it's going to be hot, so you may have an error there, but let's go ahead and power this up. Make sure we get our green light on here. And then what we're going to do is check our goggles. And we are back. We now have, we now have uh, our our OSD is back. Uh, I don't know if I have a way of showing you that really, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Um, I do have a smart controller, but I don't even know where I put that right now. But uh, anyways, it is it is up and running. I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can just use my camera. Maybe I don't know. We'll try it. If not, you'll just have to. Like I said, you'll just have to. You'll have to trust me that it's there. 
But let me see. Let me get my glasses on. <sighs> okay, so I think if you can look in there, <laughs> if you can look right there in the center of the screen, you will see that voltage indicator, right? I don't know if you can see that, but it's right. Uh, it's, it's getting the closer I get to my camera, the closer it, uh, but there it is. So I have a little icon right there in the center of the screen, and that is actually the LiPo voltage. Now, let me see if maybe I can zoom in, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it too much, but uh, let me see. We might have to work off the trust factor here. There. Okay, so it's right there. It's just that my phone's going blurry and it's driving me nuts. Oh, come on. There, 14, it's reading 14.8. What a pain. There, it's the best it's gonna get. Anyways, you can go back and slow this down. You'll see that that's, okay, so the OSD's in. I can't do anything else. You'll have to just trust me, but the OSD is working now. Everything is back to normal again and we are good to go, okay? So that's it. That's how you fix the OSD issue on here. Guys, I hope that helps. I wish I, wish I had, uh, I wish I had a, I, my smart controller, but the smart controller I don't think displays OSD anyway, so it wouldn't help you. Um, but, uh, and I don't think I can do it. Maybe I can do it with this, I don't know. Let me see, I, I don't know. You guys, I mean, there's no need for it. If you guys aren't interested, I understand. But I just feel like I'm always gonna get, somebody's gonna challenge me on this one, so I always have to cover my butt here. Let me turn off the lighting. Let me see if I can get this on the, uh, on the, uh, on the microscope. It would be cool if I could, but trying to do a microscope is, seems impossible also. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There might be, there might, there, it might have a chance. There it is. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can do it. Look, boom. There it is. See that 14.8? That's our OSD. Boom. And that's our crosshair. Boom. So there you go. There's the proof. Whew. Man, that, I don't want to do that again. So let's just work on the trust. So we're calling the honor system from now on. But anyways, there you go. So it's good to go. Um, so the system is, is set up. That's how you fix it, guys. That's the way to take off the diodes. Don't ask me to put the diodes back on. I've already, asked, some people have asked me, I said I won't do it. Um, it's, if, if somebody wants to challenge me to it, I'll do it as a challenge and I'm, I know I can do it then. But it's not worth the work, to be honest with you, for, for the, the risk of damaging the board. It's just not worth it to me. Um, there's, there's certain, you know, you gotta just draw the line. And my gosh, it would just be, you know, I would say that the success rate would be it would be okay, but on one damage, it would wipe out all the uh, uh, labor made on the rest of them. So that's not going to happen. So the best thing to do is remove the diodes. You guys can try it yourself. Be careful. If you do move anything else, you could damage the board as well. Or you can send it to me, and we do the work for you. All right, guys, God bless. Be safe. And listen, here's our uh, Cyclone FPV right there, YouTube channel. Uh, I ask you, please, 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 please follow us. Subscribe to us. Do whatever you're supposed to do. Um, and I want to give a shout-out to my kids, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden. I uh, love y'all, miss y'all, cannot wait to see y'all on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We get two weekends with y'all, Woo! Halloween, and to my wife, Sam, uh, we just had our three-year anniversary, and it was awesome. Love that woman to death, man. She supports me like no other. All right, guys, God bless. Be safe. Go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Make the most of it. You can always fly later, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.